Hi, uh, we're group five, but we're coming in, in the fourth one. Um, our game is about the four seasons. So once upon a time, a magician named Antonio Vivaldi created four magical creatures that have season abilities. The spring rabbit, the summer beer, the autumn fox, and the winter penguin. However, they got in a little fight for the golden egg. Think of this as their ticket to their internship. They all want it. <laughs> but they've been fighting. So you know how like it's now close to summer, but sometimes the days are still freezing and cold? That's those creatures are having a fight. So it's a season fight. Um, as our teammates are setting up the game, let me just introduce our awesome teammates. First of all, we have Ben. Ben, say, say hi. Yeah, that's our graphics god. He only took 167 last quarter, but he managed to ship new features every week, from tune shading to shadows to animations to season blending, where our map will blend through each season. There's nothing stopping him. And then we have Joanne, our awesome artist. She made all four adorable character models and the four season maps. This is, how, this is also drawn by her. Everything you see on this screen is designed by her. And then we have Rana over there. He made sure our players can move very smoothly throughout the map with a ray casting, which is the algorithm from graphics, but it's used now in physics. He and Melody also uh, incorporated many graphics engine features into our game. Uh, Melody, hi. So, you know this moment when you spend all your energy on a very hard project and it's just too tired to make the final touchdown? And this is where Melody comes in to help <laughs> save the day. So when Ben cook up all the graphics engine features, Melody is the one who merged it into our game smoothly, together with Rana, although he has a potato laptop. But <laughs> it all works out, so yeah. Also, we have Matthew. He's our lead player here, so you will see his POV. He made the egg. That's the golden egg that every creature is fighting for. Um, he's the master of the egg. He also bring up a ECS system to our server. Without him, our server code would be, would be a hot mess. Now it's a hot mess, but in separated containers. So it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's less mess. And then we have Ahn. Um, he incorporated the character selection screen, which you will see in a second, and also the audio engine. He is also our tech support for building on Windows Visual Studio. I, as a Mac user, have no idea how to build on Windows. It's just too hard. Um, yeah, and oh, we have me, I'm Alan. I built a bullet and dance bomb for this game. I guess that makes me the arm stealer of our, of our team. Uh, but don't worry, the bullets won't kill, and the dance bomb will be fun. And yeah, this is our game in week one. It's a stone, and yeah. It's the same GLFW window, but it has evolved through time. This is like week nine, during spring, and that's our dance bomb. All right, no more slides? Okay, so yeah, let's get started. Two volunteers. One, uh, uh, two over there, on the back, yeah. Every one of our character has their seasonal themes. This is all taken from Vivaldi's uh, Four Seasons. It's autumn, autumn fox, and I'll just quickly go through each player's uh, character seasonal abilities. For beer, it's summer, so it can shoot projectiles that confuse your control. Basically swap WASD. And then Matthew could go to the fox. Fox uh, is knockback. You can also knock yourself into the air, so that will give you a very cool view of the map. And then, that's autumn. We've shown that, yes. This is our spring bunny. Uh, she's the useless one. Uh, 
like her ability is to heal everyone. So it heals your teammates and your enemies. No, no, only your teammates. Only your teammates. Okay. okay. Uh, Penguin? Yesterday, so. Okay. Penguin, uh, you can freeze your opponent or yourself or your teammate. It's very helpful if you can freeze um, the one with the egg and then you come to them and grab the egg. So, yeah, we haven't talked about the egg in the middle yet. This is the magical egg that we are all fighting for. You gain score by holding on to the egg and t the team with the highest score will win. It's a 2v2 and yeah. Are we all... Yeah, so the core gameplay basically just comes down to holding the egg and you gain points for it. Kind of capture the flag S. Cap hold the objective, I don't know. It's a relatively common brand of game. Um, and there's also some spice thrown in with the abilities and shooting. The shooting does not kill, it just swaps your position with the opponent that you killed. So, or sorry, not killed, the swap, I don't know. Um, we didn't want it to, to actually have too punishing of consequences for uh, the shooting, so you can have more fluid gameplay and more quickly get into uh, you know, getting back to be aggressive. Um, I think we're just explaining the final rules to, to the players because it is a little bit, there's a lot of things going on, so. And then, yeah. We are PG-13, so no death, no blood. Um, but we do have a lot of particles. Here we go! Oh, it's a dance oh, That's our Easter egg! Why is it up now? I don't... Okay, we're gonna save that for the last, but, but, but it happened. Okay, so now we can see a kind of more normal interaction where our player Matthew here, who is uh, player one, has the egg. As you can see, he's on the blue team by the fact that he's player one or two and his team color is blue. And the blue score is counting up every, uh, every second he holds the egg. Um, other players are gonna try and steal the egg from him. So someone got the egg, it was player four. He got it back. Um, all the explosions, the little particle effects that happen, so that's Matthew trying to use the explosions to jump. There it is, that worked. Uh, they shoot out these projectiles that are just particle, like, kind of bombs. And they each have different effects. Each of the seasonal effects will be applied to those. Also, the seasons change. So, if you, I don't know if you noticed yet, but currently it's winter. There is, it says winter, there's a little winter icon on the top left. As well as there is snow falling. Oh, there's a dance bomb. Now the egg respawns, and it is back to this game as usual. So the seasons cycle through, uh, and it kind of shades through them. So currently it is spring, and there are some little pink particles floating around, and it's very green and lush and pretty. Um, and there are also seasonal ambient effects. So spring is their passive healing. So if you watch his health, he's at 70 right now in the top right. It should increase, nope, it's summer, sorry. No longer spring. Uh, so now they have higher jumps, and they have three jumps instead of two. Um, so Try triple jump, Matthew. There you go, that's three jumps. He was only able to do two before. Now it is fall. Uh, what is fall's effect? Oh, fall's is lower uh, cooldown times for the um, abilities. Yeah, so on the bottom right, here's an icon for ability cooldown. Um, that's a knockback. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know why, but Dance Bomb has been happening way more frequent than when we uh, game play it, when we test play it. Ah, oh, that's why. It's okay. It's okay. So the game awesome. may have progressed slightly before the characters were selected, which was not expected. So we had more dance bombs, but that's okay. We just got a more dense, more fun demo. So that works out. Also, everything in our game has collision, and we implement our own physics engine ourselves. And you get to feel like you're the physics god, so you could tune every parameters to uh, change how players interact with each other. Yeah, the collision system, we've 
kind of talked about a few play systems today from other groups and how they've done things. Um, it's kind of similar to, was it group one that did the collision, the bounding box uh, map? So <clears throat> kind of similar to that idea, but pretty different. Not really that similar. We also have a separate collision map that is a separate object file. So we did a different uh, file format. We did object files instead of um, what other groups used. But um, we have a separate object file that's for the collision map because we originally just used this map object file that Joanne made. And uh, there were two things. One, everything had collisions and it was kind of annoying. So stuff like the leaves and the trees were a little obnoxious. Uh, all of the little contours, all of the, everything had collisions. It was very annoying. And the other thing is it was very slow. There are a lot of very like detailed things that don't really need to be. So, uh, oh, that's a game has ended. So, we have a little celebration screen. Well done, Team Blue. I think this is kind of expected, given that Team Blue, I believe, was our two players who have played the game before. So, um, shockingly, we're not that bad at the game because we've played it. So, okay, we need two more volunteers on the group. And should we have it be one of our players and one of theirs? Let's do that for this one. The guy with the black hat. Yeah. Yeah. And red so yeah, we have a separate collision map similar to the other group that is made specifically for it. It's not rendered right now. I don't have a way of rendering it like they did, but it is very plain looking, but it has all the collisions that we care about. So we're just going to be hopping into another game for, uh, you know, a little more. I think we have most of what we wanted to talk about. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about, Alan? No. The other thing we didn't really mention yet is that you can also throw the egg, so when, uh, if you're trying to keep the egg away and you're on low health, or if someone's near you, you can throw the egg to your teammate to try and keep possession, because ultimately the goal is to keep possession within your team, um, so if you can manage that, that is, that is a good option to use. All right, so we've just gone into our second game, and we're going to now open up to Q&A. So if anyone has any questions about, you know, anything happening in the game, the process, please feel free to ask. Any, any questions? Yeah? Uh, the music sounds great. Did you guys make your own, did you guys make your own music for the game? Uh, yeah, Alan worked on the music. He, do you want to talk about it? Um, yeah, so I took the scores from Vivaldi, which is dead like 70 years ago, so that's copyright free, and I made some rocky changes to it, as you can hear, and it turned out to be pretty fun, yeah. And uh, other questions? Or are you just enjoying the map? So, uh, what? Uh, if you get shot at, basically. Lose. Yeah, lose health. Um, oh, and regarding... How do you lose health? The answer is if you get shot. Uh, it is mostly relevant for if you get shot for the last time, you then get swapped with the player who shot you. Um, but yeah, we wanted to have an emphasis on it not being a super shooter-based shooter, even though it is kind of ultimately a third-person shooter. And a question regarding the music as well. Uh, Alan, did you use uh, MIDI files for, or did you were you just straight up uh, 
yeah. getting the music from. I composed the score in MuseScore and then export it as MIDI oh. into GarageBand for all the other editors. Ah, okay. That's yeah. Cool. Um, as you can see from the screen, Matthew, our player one, he's now in God mode. So none of the collision rules apply to him now. And he, he's just bullying the audience. To be clear, this is not actually a part of the game that you're meant to be playing as. This is just for the sake of showing off the map and flying around and just, just for demonstration. But in actual gameplay, it is not balanced. And I want you all to pay close attention to our background map. Um, now it's in winter season. Big shout out to our artist Joanne for making four versions of the map. Um, that's kind uh, of the- we, we, have, we have season speed up on, I believe. Yeah. So it's cycling through seasons very quickly. So when playing the game normally, it's a pretty subtle shift. You can now very clearly see the season shifting through all the particles and, and the colors changing which I think is really pretty and is one of our main focuses on, on having the ambiance made. Yeah, that's kind of the perk of working in our team. Everything you do, you have to do it by 4x. Are there any other questions? We are happy to, to field them. Uh, Jeff just asked, what's my favorite character to play? Uh, I think, I think in terms of power, I think probably the, the, the penguin is my favorite because it is just very, very good and I really like the slow effect. Um, it's very effective at just kind of locking down players and being able to take the egg from them. It's very powerful. Uh, but I think the most fun is probably the fox because you get to jump very high and that's just kind of fun. Um, and I think the... Sorry, Megalovania came and I had to stop for a second. Um, yeah, the dance bombs also just play random clips of music, and if you are in the race and affected by them, you will start dancing, and it will contribute in points to the team who use them. So the way that works is that every... It's meant to be three times during a game. I think that has actually happened. I'm not sure if we've done anything wrong there. But uh, it, the egg will turn to a dance bomb, at which point you must throw it with uh, before the timer runs out of the dance bomb and it will then act as somewhat of a grenade and anyone in the radius affected by it will be forced to do a little dance animation and it'll contribute points to the team that threw the dance bomb. Um, because we thought it'd be a little boring if you just end up always having the egg and just holding it, so. Um, Professor Volker is asking, is there any particular inspiration behind the map? Um, so initially we had kind of very floaty ideas that we wanted to do and we were thinking of something along the lines of having kind of nature versus technology kind of thing and then we ended up not really following through with that and we just like the nature theme more. Um, and Joanne just kind of threw this together very early on and it was just gorgeous and we really liked it. And um, we kind of built the game around it, I think. I, I, I don't... I, I, I think if Joanne wants to comment on any inspirations for the map, uh, I think she can she can go ahead and do that because I can't really comment on it too too much. You wanna... Any inspirations for the map, Joanne? Any inspirations for the map? So there's no really inspiration for the map itself because our concept is for this, so I was just trying to uh, come. <laughs> <laughs> so I never said we're good at math, okay? That was not a claim that I've made. It's pretty close, okay? That's... Honestly, we'll call it a draw. How do we do that? What happened there? <laughs> oh, did we not do a check? Is that because we always play as blue because we don't launch four climbs? No, but... <laughs> so about the question, uh, I actually sketched a couple of like concept art at the early stage. Uh, they, are, they were like the nature season, uh, natural scenes and also like 
some cyberpunk city vibe, and my teammates decided to choose the natural scenes vibes. So that's why I uh, finally con uh, like con construct this map with uh, some natural trees and rivers and rocks so we can clearly see the season change and I think that would be a good idea for our theme of four seasons. So that's it. <laughs>